Hey everyone, welcome to the first video of ZZ Plays LP of the best game with the worst name, Eggman Hates Furries. Okay, and it starts us off just dropping us right into the action like they think they're freaking EA or something. And yes, that is Sonic on a motorcycle, but I have voiceover so you. The seven chaos emeralds are known to hold the key to manipulation of time and space. Craved for by whoever desires power, they have been the center of conflict on Mobius since time no one can recall. However, when all of the Chaos Emeralds are in the hands of one possessor, most beings do not host the innate ability to exploit them. Thus, they have been fed to godlike monsters, given to mind controlled mediums, and inserted into intricate contraptions in order to access their power. Press up arrow to accelerate, and so now we're actually getting into the action. It's close to impossible to die here, but um, it is actually possible. So you just press control to boost, press down arrow to handbrake. Although I never know, I can't understand why in the world you'd ever break. Um, same as always, you know. <laughs> uh, try not to die, just the same as always, but um. It shouldn't be too hard. If I say something, it'll probably become hard. It lies in the nature that a great struggle takes place whenever they are gathered. Terror shakes the earth, and destruction rains down on the world as their energy is discharged. More often than not, they feed both sides of the battle. And yet, there's actually a voiceover too, so if you want to just hear this video um, without me giving the voiceover, and sweet loop, just side note. But if you want to hear um, the version of this intro um, with the original voiceover, I'll give you an annotation for that now. When the dust has settled, the Chaos Emeralds are nowhere to be found. Ambitious alchemists have tried to understand them for thousands of years, yet to no avail. But with recent developments in science and technology, one man is closer to this goal than anyone before him. That's, uh, that's this fellow right here with the, uh, glasses and thick mustache, isn't it? I knew it. And then this wicked thing happens, I guess, where he somehow uses it. I actually, I don't, you, you can't control that. That's just how the game is. Boost forward. Now you're running on foot. And here's when I think it gets unrealistic. You should totally be able to get there. You should just be able to run really fast. I don't know what's going on, but for some reason, even though you're the corner and quote fastest thing alive, he beats you to it. That's cheap. It's really cheap. In fact, I think it's completely implausible. There's actually a lot of things in there um, that I think completely clash with Sonic lore, but that is a complete rant that I really don't want to go on about at this time. Uh, it'd be completely pointless, actually. But, um... Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do now is, um, as we, um, jump into this actual game and go into this dream part and get rings. Yeah, we have to get rings during this first part, but now is probably the time when I can introduce to you the, um, this menu. Okay, you see this? This is what I'm going to do to show where our progress is in the game. Um, yeah, the arrow there will show where we are, and every new time we hit a new area, I'll let you guys know. Okay, um, but here we are, we progress, we control with just the arrow keys, you can press down the, just sit down, up does nothing. Um, and space is jump, so we just need to go around collecting these rings, and before I go any further, isn't this just creepy? Yeah, this is like, um, if you think, like, the stuff in, uh, in, like, the Sonic games is too happy-go-lucky, maybe you'll like this. Also, um, the red arrow there, that will always tell you where, um, gravity is, and so... That, will, that should be able to help you, and yeah, you just spin dash through those, you get some crazy sound effects, and, um, 
Yeah, I could get the ring, jump near the wall, and run up, and run up the wall, jump off of it. Yeah, there's like some crazy things with physics where if you jump up against a wall, you can uh, sometimes even change the flow of gravity, but more often than not, you'll just run up it, like practically defying gravity. And here we go, we're just going to do these creepy dream corridors. Yeah, some you, this also kind of lets you get used to the differences in controls, and actually the arrows above, Sonic said, kind of give you an idea of which way is left, which way is right during any given time. So that's good. And now, this this part can take a longer time than I would have liked. <laughs> you, you have to get these rings up here, we have to wait for the stuff to go around, and, well, I guess there's one. I guess there's one. Uh, but I found myself, like, spin dashing like crazy, and you do that by pressing down and space, and that's not going to get me anywhere. I can see myself just getting really disoriented, as you can probably imagine from a game like this, where, like, gravity constantly changes. Like, you see, gravity is now pointing to the right, so it's weird. It's a weird game, but it's also a really fun one, as you'll see. Um, you'll also see it's mainly a boss rush game. Oh, uh, we're still going. Okay, cool. Hopefully I don't take too much time in this one section. I don't like that very much. Alright, let's keep going. Grab it, thank you. Alright, now we just have one more to go. And... Wrong direction, wrong direction. What is wrong with you? I didn't tell you to go to the right, but you went to the right anyways. Okay. And there we go. Last one. And now we're giving gravity to the to the, um, to the right there, and now I'm going to show you something, and I'm not even going to talk, because it's pretty crazy. Get ready, go. Dun, dun, dun! I love the sound effects that went with that imagery. It's awesome. Just so you know. I actually use that sound effect. Yes, yes, I know we're going, we're going, we're going. Okay, but the um, sound effect I used there was actually used in the <laughs> Super Mario 63 Let's Play. I, I took it from here, and um, I used it, I think, when Mario was sucked away from the castle. But, okay, here we are. Here we are at the cabin. And, um, yeah, that's going to do it for now. So, until next time, this has been ZZ Plays, and I'll see all you guys around.